Hello everyone. First and foremost, happy Halloween from Jazzy Jeff here at the Jazzy J714 YouTube channel. Now, on to the show. at theaters everywhere. Welcome back, everyone, to a very special trading card review series episode. Today's episode is 113. Unlucky 13, of course. And how fitting for my Halloween episode this year. Halloween 2022, that is. I am focusing on opening up brand new packs of Ghostbuster 2 trading cards. Let's dive in. Rattle me bones! Welcome aboard, mateys. Rattle me bones, rattle me bones. Take what he will, but you will rattle me bones! Spin the wheel for the treasure to take. Careful, my friend, or he'll rattle it. Shake it! Rattle me bones, turn the lights low, there's a frightening glow, but don't rattle me bones! Rattle me, rattle me, rattle me bones. You can use your skill to take what you will. You can take your pill, but don't rattle me bones! Battery sold separately from ideal. So first and foremost, I just want to throw out there, I have opened these before and have reviewed these or at least talked about these in some past episodes. Don't ask me which episode it is. You'll have to dig around for it as I tried to look for it, but I couldn't find it. Um, but it might be buried in possibly another Halloween special or maybe another trading card special, you know, that I did where I opened up these. Um, so it has been a long time, but if memory serves me right, I do not believe I ever dedicated one whole episode to just these cards, not mixing them in with other cards. I've been dying to talk about these cards and how fitting and perfect for the month of October to crack these bitches open. I hear tons of broken gum inside, so I'm not thrilled about that. These are going to be messy, but I'm ready. As you know, this is not my first trading card rodeo. These are by Tops. These were eight cards, one sticker, and then of course one stick of bubblegum from 1989 by Columbia Pictures, of course. But yes, these packs are really cool as I just sit here staring at them. Very pretty, very nice. I love the number two symbol. I just think it's cool. I wish more Ghostbuster sequels had continued to use him showing, you know, different numbers and whatnot. So... But anyhow, enough is enough. It is time to tear these open. Let's see how greasy these got. Not only do they sometimes get bubblegum stains, but they get grease stains from the, um, from whatchamacallit, the glue that holds it shut. And already I can see a nice skid mark going on right there. So that sucks. But first up, we've got no sign of life. We got Ray. Checking out Vigo, of course. And the back of the card's a little boring. It's gray. They didn't really put a whole lot of detail or color. There, there's the back of a card without any uh, uh, grease Ooh, as I drop it. But yes, here is a really excellent card that I just bent picking it up. <laughs> it is the Ecto Mobile, of course. This would be the Ecto 2 or the Ecto 1A, I believe. I think that was the official name. Um... But yeah, really cool, really awesome. I love all the additions that were put on the vehicle in the movie. All the additional stickers and that black and yellow banner that they had. Just some neat stuff. But uh, yeah, these cards, 
you know, I've, I've discussed cards like these in the past. You know, a lot of these are going to be scenes from the movies, various shots. But, like, this one's actually kind of a cool one. Like, I really like that. Sometimes they can be kind of lazy or, you know, just random like that. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver and Janos, or Dana Barrett, should I say. Hilarious. And then here, oh, nice. So I got sticker cards. Now, I think I got these already. I just remembered that there's sticker cards. I'll make sure to show off all the stickers I have uh, at the end of the video. Um, the Scolari Brothers. Very cool. Very awesome. I love sticker cards. And, of course, it is a puzzle piece as I sit here yakking on and on. You collect, obviously, all the stickers. You'll get the, the giant puzzle, which is always really cool. So here's kind of like, you know, Oscar standing on a ledge. They kind of show like two. Like this looks like a lazy card to me. Like let's just double the picture and angle a little bit. You know, take or leave it. Oh, here we go. Now this is always cool. When you get the official like series card. I don't ever really see these a whole lot. So this is actually really cool. So I like that. That would be a cool like thing to frame. Or if you had a big poster of that. Got some Winston Zedmore action here. And that's cool. Ernie Hudson is Winston. <laughs> what a random card. This one might be my favorite. Like, you know, just a factoid in the front of the card. Usually they have the factoids on the back. But, and there are, and keep in mind, there are little blurbs though. Like each card does have a little explanation of either what's going on or the scene. So, and then of course we have Dana and Oscar. So that was it. That was pack number one. Blew through that pretty quickly. And of course, let me just drop that there. Here is the gum. So 1989. But who's counting? Halloween weekend on TNT's Monster Vision. Trick or treat. A joyous occasion for the whole family. Four fun-filled movies that deserve this disclaimer. Tonight at 8.30 on TNT's Monster Vision. All right, pack number two. Let's do this. So, yeah, I really like this packaging. I like the wax packs. It just sucks that they leave grease stains and stuff on the cards. Thankfully, the bubble gum. Oh, shit. Something weird happened here. We'll get to that. So, yeah, I mean, my best advice is, you know, I guess open them <clears throat> if you get these cards or just keep an eye on them where they're stored. Oh, and finally, before I forget, if you are somebody who, if you're watching right now and you sent me these cards, thank you. Once again, I fell behind on keeping track of where these cards came from and who sent them to me. Uh, there is a possibility that I bought them or and then forgot or i bought something and this was like a freebie that got sent with something else that i purchased because sometimes sellers will throw in trading cards for free so anyhow thank you <laughs> if you are one of the viewers who have sent, sent me these cards i love the ghostbuster 2 cards they are awesome all right so yeah but once again these are definitely a better example of movie cards that aren't too lazy you know there's definitely a few cards that could be better or eliminated. There's that grease stain from the glue. Eric Rook, if you're watching, what a what a shame. But yes, um, I love the yellow like borders around the cards. You know, just kind of like adds to the overall yellow and blue. It's it's so just late '80s, early '90s. I love it. I love the colors. Yeah, that's a like a super lazy one there. Here we go, some Statue of Liberty action. Losing the Liberty Liberty statue here, up there. And I think if you look close, you can't really see it, but he is holding the NES Advantage. So, very cool, very neat. Oh, okay, so here is a widescreen SFX shot, which is actually really cool. That might be my favorite card in this pack so far because I've never seen a card like that before. This is the stuff I'm talking about. This is the stuff that needs to be turned into trading cards more. You know, don't just show some random scene of the three Ghostbusters looking at Louis Tully bending over. Like, what a bizarre, lazy card. Oh, shit, here we go. This is awesome. 
Woo! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got a new one, a big one. This is huge. I got Slimer the sticker. I did not have Slimer the sticker, so I'm so excited to add this to my Ghostbuster stickers. That's huge. That's great. That's really awesome. Really nice. There's There's been some excellent, excellent cards in this shot, and it just keeps coming, ladies and gentlemen. We have another of those widescreen SFX shots. And uh, just super awesome, super cool, really nice, really beautiful. I really liked the ghost in the second movie. Like, I, I have a lot to say. I don't want to get too off track from talking about trading cards. But it is an underrated movie. And uh, holy shit, this, th these cards just keep getting better. This one's going on my refrigerator. Merry Christmas, New York. This is awesome. <laughs> these cards are fucking phenomenal. Um, speaking of the second movie, I always think of the Christmas scene where they're in the jewelry store and like the lasers and shit are happening. Like, I want to see more of that. Where's the rest of that scene? There has to be more like, and that was great when they were running around New York with the Christmas hats on and stuff. Just, you know, it was nice to see more montages of them. Peter at the park, stomping on the trap, capturing a ghost running, you know, and he's like eating a sandwich wearing a French hat. Like, it was just so bizarre. Like, so strange. So, really cool. Oh boy, here we go. Janos, Janos, just laying on the floor slimes. That's kind of a weird, a little bit of a lousy card there. And then, okay, well, you guys have already seen the gum. Some of it fell, but obviously I will not be eating it. I'm sorry for the gum lovers out there, but. You know, I'm, I'm getting old, I'm getting cold, and I, 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 you know, I can't put myself at risk. So, but anyway, so what the heck is this? So here we have a card of Ray with uh, some caption bubbles. So here's something new. Here's something I was asking for. Do something different. That's right. Ghostbusters. We're back and we're better than ever with twice the know-how and twice the particle power to deal with all your supernatural elimination needs. Ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't have said it any better. That is great. There it is. Boom. Some of the best cards I've opened in a while. This season's been really good. Um, this season's had some really good surprises. And episode 113, despite the unlucky number... I got really lucky in today's episode. So there you have it. There are the cards. And then before I, um, before I end this, I just wanted to quickly do a little special uh, segment, toy segment, um, where I show off that I finally found something that I've been looking for for a very long time. And I've seen this pop up, obviously, in other collectors' Uh, pictures and stuff, but I've always wanted to own and have the little Stay Puft Marshmallow pencil sharpener. Like, I know there's a whole stationary pack, and if I find it, I find it, but I'm not necessarily looking for all of that. I just wanted this, and I found this at a thrift uh, table, yard sale, like, uh, you know, swap meet kind of dealio, and uh, flea market. And it was just on the table for like 50 cents or something crazy still works great condition cleaned it up finally got this and before before i end it i'm just you know i'm just doing the toy segment now instead of having the toy segment be a separate thing i'm just gonna dive right into it since i have it sitting right next to me ladies and gentlemen the special toy for today if that wasn't enough i have the johnny lightning frightening lightnings by Playing Mantis Limited Edition Ghostbusters Ecto 1A. And it is not just the 1A, but it is a special 1997 Halloween release. Now, of course, I'm not going to be opening up this. But I figured I would at least show off the packaging and just kind of show off the car and show off the vehicle just a little bit the best I can, the best that the camera will capture. You know, all of these things are best to be seen, you know, in person. If you can check this out at a, if you see this at a convention or something, it's just the detail on, in the vehicle 
you know, the video is just probably not going to do it justice. So it's awesome. It says Halloween 97 on the vehicle. It says Ghostbusters 2. It is badass. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a very special Halloween-y episode of Jazzy Jeff's Trading Card Review Series. And, uh, you know, what better than Ghostbusters to, uh, to kind of to end or float on into uh, Halloween? Hopefully I have this um, released and out uh, in time before Halloween. And, uh, but anyhow, I wish everybody to have a lovely month, rest of your month, a lovely Halloween week leading up to Halloween. I know it's landing on a Monday this year, so obviously these upcoming weekends and this, the final weekend of October, obviously enjoy it, soak it all in, get outside, do all that good stuff. But most importantly, have fun and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Married with Children will not be seen tonight, but we'll return next week with an all-new episode at its regularly scheduled time. Now, stay tuned for more of The Simpsons Halloween Scarathon. Now, back to the Fox Halloween Bash from Universal Studios, Florida. We want to thank everybody for hanging out all week long. We had a good time. Hope you did, too. Happy Halloween, everybody. Fox and Nestle congratulate Nancy Fredholm, the winner of Bart's Butterfinger Contest. Fox's Halloween Bash was sponsored by U.S. Air. <laughs> it worked. Hello, Jeff. Jazzy Jeff. I know you, but you don't know me. But you will know me soon enough. And I'm here to take over the trading card review series for this special Halloween edition. I am taking your tapes and destroying them one by one. Starting with Halloween 2, and I'll be replacing it with a Blu-ray. <laughs> yes, that's right. A Blu-ray of Halloween 2. But there's one other thing I'm going to do that's card related. But instead of it being a trading card, I'm going to talk about playing cards. <laughs> that's right. Going to mess up your show. I'm sure these look familiar, Jeff. That's right. They are 1978 UNO cards, International Games Incorporated. And I'm going to open them up, baby. You had it sealed, but it's too late. <laughs> oh, Jeff, I know you're cringing. I know you've fallen. It must be so painful that I'm opening up a brand new pack of Uno cards <laughs> from 1978. 
These are like 60, 70 years old. <laughs> wow. The original Uno instructions. Would be a shame if those got lost. <laughs> wow, look at those beauties. Still in the plastic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. Have a happy Halloween, everybody. Especially you, Jeff. <laughs> wow, those are absolutely gorgeous. And I opened them. <laughs> Soon your entire channel will be mine. Stick around. <laughs>